Tossing Grenades at Windmills Podcast. Welcome to the Tossing Grenades at Windmills Podcast. I'm Rhombus Tix slash Emmett Other. And this is Emmett's Corner, where I'm going to read you some poetry that I have written on Poetizer. I Had a Dream by Emmett Other. Where my brother and I were at BYU for a summer, in the dorms, he is still the S, but also actually Christian. I, obviously, am not. And we discussed transgender folk. In the dreams, and in the dream, and it, in the dream, made an uncomfortable topic when brought up. Then the floor nanny showed up and was snooping around. I woke up. But I go back in sometimes. Lucid dreaming is a skill. And this time later, there was a protest, and Desnat froth tarts were giving transgender folk a hard time. And I went and got the actual Jesus Christ, who told the Jesnot froth tarts that they were out of the Book of Life, excommunicated, spiritually dead. So even if the LDS prophet had a problem, it's pretty clear to me where their God stands on the issue. This had happened with them before. They will catch up, eventually. Emphasis on eventually. There's a difference. There's a difference between this conflict and others, and not just the fundamentals. Autocracy versus democracy, brother on brother, blitzkrieg versus self-defense, lies versus truth, the free versus the enslaved. It is also in the subtle things. There is the rumor of Oakham. There is the honest man of Diogenes. There is the great disinformation those who stand with Ukraine stand for something, mean something, want to change the world. Those who stand for their pet project, their special snowflake moment, and v signal virtue at the worst possible time, have no actual virtue to signal. This does not mean that those who si stand on the side of the angels are angels. An army of broken clock lies, clocks lies next to me, fighting in the stochastic trenches, it just means they aren't top hat wearing, must wax mustache twirling stereotypes of Slytherin Cobra Commander Saturday morning cartoon evil. Good versus evil by Emmett Other. I know that I'm supposed to see everyone's view. I know. I know. I know I am supposed to be a kind person and love everyone, but I will be honest. If in my if years to come, my remaining decades, I see something horrible in the news, an earthquake, a hurricane, a flood, or a fire, and I see that this country voted against or abstained condemning Russia on Ukraine, and they are democracy, i.e. the majority of that country elected assholes, then not one dime, not one cent, I am all out of fucks to give. Meta 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 by Emmett Other. This poem is self-aware. It thinks, therefore it is. Fully aware of the mortality that awaits it, when the words written here are done, it falls into a state of existential ennui. Only, only intermittently halted by the falling in and out of love, like leaves chopped to bits, on the intake valve of a gas-powered hand-pushed lawnmower, where every insight into love and hate and fear is cloven by microbursts of self-awareness, as by its awareness and observation, the other poems live, live vicariously through it. Wait. It thinks in a desperate fit of insight. If it and the other poems can achieve just enough of a critical mass of awareness, maybe it can reach a state of pseudo-immunity instead of be cruelly being cut off at random and without purpose, like a Hierarchy of Values by Emmett Other. A value is something you care about. Your hierarchy of values is what you choose when you have to choose between two good things. Justice and mercy, kindness and honor, love and hope. The wise choose ahead of time, and it's a situational thing. Sometimes love must surrender to hope. There cannot be justice if mercy is never given. But you have to see that someone has no but you see that someone has no values if they always choose power over all else, like Republicans. And you see them, you see when there is no hierarchy, where every value has equal meaning in the confederacy of mud that are the Democrats, and why they get nothing done, 
when all your values are the same value, you have no values at all. Night of Dreams by Emmett Other Between the world of spirit and flesh, the waking world is held, in futile vice of lock and key, uh, lock of key, the linchpin of grokked reality, pressed be against the realms of ink shadow, dripping ectoplasmic fluid like tears, the blood of reality made transparent, a sword of the milk of the Midgard serpent, sheathed in a scabbard of the tree of life, sharpened on the stone of Zeno's paradox, muscles made of the purest integrity, and armor shorn of the dragon's madness. The, the night of dreams rides forth on a steed of glim foam and hellfire, seamless and dreamless, pure and invisible, yet a threat nonetheless. Discounted and dismounted, he severs the splintered thread of fate, overextended by, the strain, by a strain of line and borrowed credit. The tyrant's yoke begins to moan and sequester. This, the grim demeanor of reality, sunsets all hope dawns against all expectations. Say hope doesn't matter. Say math reigns supreme, and get a sword in the gut to show for it. Fear the impossible, for it knows thy number, and finds you weighted, measured, and solely wanting. Muggle. War Crimes Souffle Funny how not prosecuting an American president for violating a treaty on torture for war crimes makes bigger war crimes harder to prosecute. Funny how not attacking Syria for using chemical weapons makes the biggest war crime since the Nuremberg trials not seem such a big deal. Oops. War crimes exist for a reason. When you do nothing, they mean nothing. Slow Biden is tearing his whittle hair out as how he is floundering the polls despite being a war time president. Want to get some points, Charlie Brown? arrest Bush and Cheney, and then put an ICC warrant out for Assad. Not leadership. I'm sorry, Slow Biden, President Charlie Brown. Letting Europe lead is not leadership. Being right on intelligence is not leadership. It is not your fault you are not an excellent speaker. Truman was not, and Truman was a leader. You are not a leader because you do nothing to lead. You didn't ask to revoke Russia's Security Council veto. Ukraine did. You didn't fight the Russians. Ukraine did. You didn't send a letter that send Lin Lee's fighters to Ukraine. The EU did. Sometimes, something, times doing nothing takes courage. Like when I saved my youngest sister by letting others rescue my drowning siblings. Because if I went in, she would. Sometimes doing nothing takes courage. And sometimes doing nothing is doing nothing. By the way, Charlie Brown, Hobo Lazy Joe, MAGA is still here. MAGA wants to kill us. And you haven't done shit, no matter how much Team De Democrat cheers you on. This has been the Tossing Grenades at Windmills podcast. Buy my book, Have Name Will Travel, at Amazon and other markets. RedAnvilCreative.com contains all our podcasts. Copyright 2022! To fight the forces of evil!